How many active cases you got? 38. Case 39 is a supernatural thriller movie that was released in U.S. theaters on October 1st, 2010. Case 39 is directed by Christian Albert and stars Renee Zellweger, Bradley Cooper, Ian McShane, and Jodell Furland. In Case 39, Zellweger plays social worker Emily Jenkins. Jenkins is assigned her 39th case, a 10-year-old girl, Lilith Sullivan, who is the victim of child abuse. After Lily's parents try to kill her, Jenkins decides to take the girl in until she can find a suitable foster family for her. Strange and violent things begin to happen and Jenkins begins to question what dark forces surround the child. Reviews for Case 39 began coming out several days before the film opened in the U.S. Overall, reviews for the film were generally unfavorable. On October 1, 2010, Case 39 garnered a dismal 22% fresh rating on Rotten Tomatoes' Tomato Meter. The movie had a no score on Metacritic.com with only two critics weighing in. Both scored the film at a 40 or below out of a possible 100. Only a handful of major movie critics had weighed in on Case 39 before it hit theaters. Of those that did, the general consensus seemed to be that the film wasn't scary enough and was somewhat bland. Jordan Mincer of Variety said Case 39 is a ludicrous outing from director Christian Albert and screenwriter Ray Wright, adding that the movie takes its psycho-satanic babble much too seriously and should elicit more laughs than frights. Critic Ian Nathan of Empire calls Case 39 a shabby shocker that manages to be both very silly and highly forgettable. Movie Time ABC Radio National critic Ruth Hesse calls Case 39 a nasty and morally repulsive film. Filming of Case 39, it should be noted, actually wrapped in 2007. Paramount originally planned to release Case 39 in the U.S. in February of 2008. That plan got scrapped and a second release date was set for April April of 2009. Scrapped again. According to Entertainment Weekly, Paramount decided to release Case 39 in 2010 after a successful overseas run that yielded $15 million in grosses. For more information on this topic, visit the link below.